New tonight, a crime alert that's starting to get plenty of attention. Local police are looking into five armed robberies and break-ins in just the last two weeks. Good evening, I'm Marius Payton. And I'm Maggie Newland. In tonight for Angela Taylor. Three of the robberies happened at the Belmont apartment complex that caters to do graduate students. CBS 17's Derek Lewis is live tonight. And Derek, one of the victims says the criminals came into her apartment while she was sleeping. Maggie and Marius, Mary Rose Branch tells me she thought this was all a dream. Two men kicked in her back door in the middle of the night here at Belmont Apartments, yelling that they were police officers. She laid in bed terrified as robbers made their way to her bedroom. I felt one of them kind of creep over to look if I was asleep. Um, but I still thought I was in this, I, I was a dream. When Mary Rose Branch woke up, she says two men with guns were in her bedroom going through her stuff. The one with the white mask was pointing a gun toward my head and I screamed and they said, they said basically shut up or we'll kill you. The home invasion happened last week at two in the morning. Management tells me these men are responsible for this home invasion as well as four other armed robberies within the past two weeks in the same apartment complex. It's uh, personally frustrating. Um, it's very upsetting. They took Branch's phone, laptop, TV, and left with her car. I've learned 90% of the people living here are Duke grad students. They have been asking management to do more for their safety, like fix this gap in the front gate. This is a terrible thing, um, but it's something that hopefully we can take care of and address. Management tells me they're doing everything they can. Although they've added a new lock on Branch's door, she says that's not enough. She's breaking her lease to find a new place to live. I don't know if I can stay um, in my apartment alone, but if they're caught, I feel better. Now, police tell me they are still looking for these suspects. We've reached out to Duke for a response, but have not heard anything back yet. The apartment complex management there, they explained to me that they're doing everything they can to keep people safe, but they still feel like that is not enough. I'm working on that for six. Live in Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS 17 News.